Okay, so we have problem 35, where we have two circles, which are tangent to a line, and radius for both is the same, which is 5 centimeters. Now there is a square which is just between these two circles and that is just tangent to the line and to the both circles. And we are asked to determine e of the square. Remember e of the square can be a square, which is actually the side of the square, okay? So this is asked, give this problem a try. When you are done, then watch the video and compare your answer. All right, for this solution, I'll draw some extra geometry. Like you can say OB and OA, these two lines, and two extra lines, which are actually OE, and then CD. As you can see, we got a right angle triangle, which is OCB. So that's just a right angle triangle. Now we can use the Pythagorean's theorem in order to determine the side of the square. For that, as you can see, the hypotenuse that's actually OB, so OB square must equal to the other side, which is the base, and that's CB square plus the perpendicular square, which is OC square. Now next, as you can see, OB, that's actually the radius, which is 5 centimeters. And again, CA, that's actually the side of the square, okay, that's already labeled. That means we're going to have OC, which is R minus A. Okay, so we can subtract the side of the square from the radius. That's why we can get the perpendicular at the right angle triangle. And next, as you can see, ED, that's just splitting the square into half. That means we're gonna have A by two over there, okay, is the half side of the square. So we can subtract A by two from the radius to have the base of the right angle triangle, which is CB. So CB is actually R minus a by 2. So we can put these values in the Pythagoras theorem, okay? Like OB, that's actually R square, must equal CB and that's actually R minus A by 2 whole square, plus OC square and that's actually R minus A square. Now we can expand R minus A by 2 square and R minus A square and that's gonna give me R square equals R square plus A square by 4 minus R A plus R minus A whole square can be R square plus A square minus 2 R A. And this is just the same formula, okay? You may have learned that in 8 or maybe in 9th grade, okay? Like A minus B whole square, okay? So that's just expanding that, uh, you can say a formula, okay? Now R square, R square cancel, and there we have A square by 4, and plus a square, which is actually 5a square by 4, and we have minus 2ra and minus ra, which is actually minus 3ra, and we have actually the last one, which is r square, and this must equal to 0, okay? Now, we will multiply this with 4. We can have 5a square minus 12ra plus 4r square equals 0. Now, we can factorize this, okay? Like you can say we have 5a minus 2r into a minus 2r, that's actually 0. Now as you can see, a minus 2r, we can have a equals 2r, and that's actually which is not possible, okay, because a is just less than radius, okay, that's just a small square you can say. So a cannot be just 2r, however, we can have 5a minus 2r, okay, that's just possible. Like you can say we have 5a equals 2r. We can divide both sides by 5 to have the value or you can say the, the results for the side of the square which is a, okay. Now we can put values in the same formula you can say, okay, 2r by 5. r is just actually 5, okay. So A equals, we're going to put the value of R, R, which is 5 centimeters, which is actually 2 times R. So 2 times 5 divided by 5, okay, 5, 5 cancel. So we have A equals 2 centimeters. Now put 2 centimeters in the same formula, which is E of the square equals A square, okay. So we have E of the square, which is A square, or you can say 2 square. 
So two twos are that's actually four centimeters square. So this is how we can calculate area of the yellow square. See you in the next video.